And then if you if you have a sweater that's like really open like this, especially like V-neck, pull it back and expose a little shoulder. It's so disheartening for me. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, <laughs> hold up. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Sierra. Hey, and I am finally coming at you guys with a lit wear video. I was so excited to put these looks together, mainly because I haven't done a style video in some time now. And I know some of you guys like that type of content from me. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I know that I said I was gonna be going out to New York and going out to the store, but truth of the matter is a lot of these stores got their end of summer sales and haven't quite yet put out their sweaters and stuff like that. And on top of that, I want you guys to keep in mind to shop your own closet before you go out and buy, buy, buy. Um, something that I really like to do, what really helps me, which what really helps me liven up my closet is to go to Vogue Collections and go through some of like the 90s looks, the early 2000s looks, um, present day if you're into that. But you know, just to pull inspiration. So yes, I rummaged through my little knitwear and then I was like, maybe I should start putting in my fall stuff, but I think I'm gonna wait. These three little pieces of knitwear here, I think can be really good transitional pieces as well. The pieces that I'm gonna be going over today, you may have some sort of variation of these items. And if not, I feel like it's easy to make it work with your staple knitwear pieces that you have. Without further ado, y'all, let's get to this video because truth be told, you this girl had to get to work. So I'm gonna be giving you guys three transitional looks with your lightweight knitwear. The first little piece that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to style today is your very, you know, typical standard little vest here. Um, this one I actually just purchased from the brand Winnie, Winnie New York. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out because I talk about this brand a little bit. Also, I decided to keep the Winnie pants in case you have seen my last video, I'm gonna keep them. I actually got this vest to go in them. This style vest, I feel like if you don't wanna go out and purchase the Winnie one, go to your local thrift store. And one thing with like knits, cause I know knits tend to carry scents. One thing I like to do to like clean them is like take a steamer and put like wash detergent in my steamer and just steam it, leave it outside. If it's really, really bad for like a day, you know, on a hanger or something, but yeah, they don't tend to smell after you do that. Also, let's get into the details of this Winnie vest though. I just really wanna just show y'all off because I just think it's just so cool. And I love when brands keep in mind that practicalness or just keep practicalness at the forefront. Um, and for Winnie, what I love about this vest is the buttons at the bottom are actually freaking functional. Like, I feel like if this was from a fast fashion brand or just, made cheaply the buttons wouldn't be functional it is a little bit big on me i got this one in the men's section in case anyone is interested that's why i'm going over the details i think that a very cool transitional way to style your favorite vest is to pair with you know a pair of jeans and maybe a white sneaker because the white sneaker will say yes i'm wearing a sneaker but I'm wearing crisp white sneakers to let you know that, yes, I know summer is still lingering, but fall is around the way. If your vest is like baggy like mine, I think it's so chic if you do baggy on the bottom as well. And it works too for like proportions of the look, cause this baggy vest wouldn't look good with like skinny jeans or just a more tapered pant in general. One thing I learned is with proportions, if you're wearing something baggy on top and you don't know what to wear on bottom, just mimic what you're wearing on top, do baggy on the bottom. If you're wearing a slim fitted top and you don't know what to wear on the bottom, mimic the top, do a slim fitted bottom. So yeah, I chose to mimic my top and I chose to wear my baggy Uniqlo jeans and I thought it was a freaking look. Like I think that this look can totally work if you're, you know, shopping or going for coffee. Oh, also the ribbon at the back of this, oh my God, like, Come on, Winnie. For me, it, it's sad to say, but even if the fit is a little bit off, if the fabric is amazing, I'm like, I'm still keeping it. I'm still keeping it. The next piece we're gonna be getting into is a, I wanna say polo style sweater. This style sweater you can find like so often at your thrift store, especially in the men's like department. When fall comes, like they put this style out like literally every other sweater. It's 100% wool. And this just goes to show y'all, like I thrifted this piece 
This Winnie piece, yes, is beautiful, but I bought it, you know, brand new from a luxury brand. But if you pay attention to like these luxury brands and what they do and what makes them luxury and just pay attention to like the details, like with luxury items, typically you will see like this same style, like ribbing. So if you have a sweater like this that is a little bit oversized, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I put this on and I feel like, it's too damn big. Pair it with something like very soft and maybe loose in structure on the bottom um, so that you can play around with maybe the bottom of the oversized sweater that you're wearing. Um, so what I chose to go for is this little satin skirt and I think that this look is perfect for a little date night. Um, I would even wear this during the day if you're going on errands because it is comfortable. You can always throw it on with a pair of sneakers. For this look, y'all know I am all about practicalness and to be quite honest, I would throw on a sneaker or my Margiela replica the meal situation if if I was to wear it because I don't really be wearing heels like that anymore unless they're my bottegas because they are comfortable and then if you if you have a sweater that's like really open like this especially like v-neck pull it back and expose a little shoulder it creates a different you know neckline it just creates a different look for the sweater in general and I just feel like having it pushed back I don't know it's something that's just like so chic just so effortless about it also this oatmeal color I think looks really really good with just a very stark black navy anything dark on the bottom last but not least we're going to be getting into a turtleneck Y'all know how much I love turtlenecks. Actually, if you, you don't like turtlenecks, I'm sorry. Like, I just think that they are just the chicest thing. I love something that just pulls that little neck back. I got this one actually from the thrift store. It's from the brand Gap, and it is 100% merino wool. And if you're the type of person that you don't really like wool, you find wool to be itchy, try merino wool. Um, try, obviously, cashmere, which is a form of wool. Um, those tend to be softer, softer wools. Wool, 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 wool. <laughs> and also merino wool, I feel like it's a little more tauter fit than your heftier wool. Last winter I wore it on its own, of course, but also layer underneath short sleeve pieces, underneath dresses. So if you haven't gotten yourself a little turtleneck, find the right one for you, because I promise you it is the most versatile thing for the fall and winter months. With this one, I went to my go-to outfit, which you can't go wrong with this outfit. Anybody can pull it off on those, you know, 70 degree nights. Again, those 70 degree nights where it's nice, but you still got a little breeze coming through. Throw yourself on a lightweight knit sweater and a pair of light wash jeans. And that light wash jean, that light wash short, is telling you that, yes, I'm wearing a total neck sweater, but you see these light wash jeans? These say summertime. These say summer is still here. One of my favorite combinations, you guys, and I would say definitely try it and send me your pictures if you do try it. Caramel on top, lightweight, light wash for the bottom, and a black sneaker, a black flat, a black mule. I want to say I actually got that concept from like Dries Van Doten. I just love how he paired in his like earlier collections, he would pair like black shoes with like the most feminine looks, the most tapered pants, the most summery looks. And again, I took that concept and I applied it to my wardrobe, how I would, you know, apply it to my wardrobe. And you don't have to think so literal when looking at past shows and applying it to your wardrobe. Like you can literally take, oh, you know, they're doing a gray knitted sweater and a gray pant. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. Just go to your closet, like what gray pants do I have? What gray jeans do I have? I took that concept from Dries Van Doden and applied it just to a light wash jean in a black shoe. I chose, of course, to go with my Margiela flat, which y'all, let me show y'all the back of my Margiela flats. I have not showed anybody this. Um, it is so disheartening for me. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, <laughs> hold up. Your girl was going to New Orleans and I'm like, I want my Margiela ballerina flats for the trip. So I was working up until our trip and Connor was kindly enough, kind enough to take my shoes to be resold. So Connor takes it to a little cobbler, honey, and look what this man did to my shoe. <laughs> look what he did to my shoe, y'all. <laughs> and my little, my coworker be laughing at me for it because it's clearly not a tabby toe anymore. Like it's kind of gross in there, sorry, but I just can't believe it. But yeah, y'all, back to the topic at hand. This is a way that you can style a turtleneck sweater Again, don't be thinking too hard about it. Although I will say if you do choose to be experimental, a good base 
would be a tone neck especially for the fall and the winter but i guess this is a transitional look so i would say obviously with knitwear the less the better because it's still you know kind of summer outside that is the last little look here you guys let me know down in the comment what was your favorite look if any from this video also again be sure to share 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 how do you style your knitwear because obviously i didn't cover it all in this video thank you guys so much for watching mallory i hope you love this also y'all let me know other video recommendations down in the comments i am always here too so yes thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next